Hi, this is Eric. I'm also known as XDN. That's my handle on the BeatTheCasino.com forum. Um, I'm also the uh, author of the Ultimate Baccarat app. And it's been a while since I've uh, played any live shoes, so uh, uh, finally things have loosened up time-wise, and I'm going to jump on and play here. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and skip through the first few hands, kind of speed them up here. All right, so we've got starting the shoe. We've got four players, one bank, three players, and an unconfirmed bank so far. So, nothing yet. Uh, I do notice that the big road disparities, one, two, and three up there, are uh, all have a count of three in recommending banker. So let's see how that works out. Player three, banker zero. Okay, so that was uh, correct. Moves those counts up to four. And I'm keeping an eye on that. Um, win, win, win. That's had a pretty good 83% hit rate so far. When the hit rates get that high, um, not always, but, you know, sometimes they can come back to mean, which means, um, you know, they would come back to more near, usually 62 to 65%. The Ultimate Baccarat app does tend to keep you ahead of the normal statistics of Baccarat. Uh, that was a tie, so let's go ahead and skip past that in the video. Player nine, banker seven, and we can see big road uh, disparities up there were had one recommendation, one recommendation for players, so we uh, didn't make a bet. So now. Um, yeah, we're uh, looking at Big Road, and uh, down here you can see O2 and T2 are starting to get a count value. But this bet is for uh, Big Road. We've got a count of 3, 4, 4 up there in the 1, 2, 3, in the disparities in box 1, 2, 3. And uh, the T2 is working pretty well so far in Big Eye, so we're going to keep an eye on that. Okay. So Big Road, um, let's see, I think I just lost that bet. Yeah. Big Road setting at uh, player recommendations with a count of 544. 455, four, five. got it backwards. <laughs> and pretty much nothing else is cooking right now, so we'll give that a we'll give that a trial bet to give it give it a start here. And uh pretty much you'll see me flat bet um all the way through. When the um Ultimate Baccarat app is finding disparities. There's, I don't really do much progression unless I'm way up in shoe count. And I might, I might do a positive progression, which is you know parlay a, a a winning bet situation. But I don't like negative progressions. That's just me. Other people use them. So uh, in small road TBL, or I'm sorry, big eye road is TBL is still working. Small road is starting to develop a Dragonfly, possibly. Well, okay. So now I'm noticing um, on Big Road, this is the XTB opposite counter, and we've had two of those. So that means we've had two more of those in the shoe than XTB repeats. And we're just going to go with that for right now. We've got a strong disparity, well, a strong pattern on Big Eye for time before last. That's the T23 counter up there. And I'm getting an XTB. Um, yeah, those two, uh, T2 and X, X, XTB opposite are uh, agreeing on this bet. So let's see what we get. And Banker. Okay. So I think I'm one unit down at this point. Point. I started about seventy-three or seventy-four dollars, and we've got uh, T two 
with a count of four on the big eye. And XTB opposite on the big road. So XTB opposite means we're looking for a banker here. That would be a multiple that follows that player single. And that's what the XTB opposite means. If you think about it, it's how does it how does this event tie back to the previous event? Um, you know, join us on beatthecasino.com for uh, discussion and question and answer about that. So, okay, banker wins. So XTB opposite continues and T2 continues on Big Eye Road. Now, one of our players at Beat the Casino, uh, one of our best players, wait for it. Uh, on Bovada, he has noticed a tendency for <clears throat> runs to stop at 5 and 6. So I'm not going to bet this to continue. Um, Big Eye Road T2 is recommending player, but you've got to use your own judgment here. Um, you know, it's the app isn't, you know, end-all, see-all. You have to learn it. You have to use other statistics and other observations. So I am going to not bet this just because of that. Wait for it has seen uh, uh, what we like to call an anomaly on Bovada, that runs just don't go past six. And in this case, he was right. So very cool. Thanks for that unit. Uh, wait for it. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so it looks like TBL can continue on Big Eye here. And then on Small Road, we're starting to get an O2 situation where you'd bet second liners. We're going to go ahead and bet for the player. Now, player gets us a blue, blue, blue in the roads. In all cases, except for cockroach road a little bit, blue, blue continues the big eye and small road patterns. Plus, on the, on the big road, that would make that um, um, banker three stop at three. Yeah, and it did it. Okay. Okay, so uh, small road, or I'm sorry, uh, big eye road, TBL, going to town here. And XTB opposite on the big road here, they're conflicting. Um, both of them are working pretty well. Counts of five and four this early in the shoe. I am not going to bet this. Um, that is a little too much of a conflict for me. One of them is going to win, but not both of them. <laughs> so, um, looks like TBL is a lead here. Yeah, TBL on Big Eye with that player. That's going to be the dominant. So, I'm really keeping an eye on that guy right now. And you can look at the Big Eye road and see, yeah, that's uh, TBL all the way. TBL is time before last. So, the result is uh, is basically the time before last of the current hand, six more times than opposite time before last. So it's working pretty well. I'm not really watching the big road, uh, or the uh, I'm sorry, I'm not really watching the upper disparities right now. When there's a T2 or O2, I'm really liking those because they're easy to understand. They're easy to play. <clears throat> So I'm just bailing on all the other statistics right now. Looking at T2, and there's another one. Excellent. Looking at T2 on Big Eye, and, uh, well, O2 on Big Road. Ooh, that's nice. So I've got T2 on Big Eye, and O2 on Big Road confirming each other. Yeah, I, I'm, this is a good possibly a good situation here. It could indicate that the shoe is really strong in, in both TBL on Big Eye and O2 on Big Road. So let's see if this uh, works and sticks over the next uh, few minutes here. And like I said, just to reiterate, oh, yep, good, banker. So we are keeping an eye on T2 Big IT2, Big Road O2. But we have a conflict here again. But you know what? T2 is... T2 on the Big Eye is stronger. It's up by 3 now. And I've also got an XTB repeating bet, which you can see those single events just keep repeating. Uh, we're going to go with Banker based on the Big Eye here. 
I don't, you, you look at these roads and it's like, okay, there are, there are, you know, several combinations here of roads and patterns, but man, look at the strongest pattern. It's easy to see on that um, big eye. And, you know, you want to stick with those. Okay, we did lose that one. If you see something that strong, stick with it. I'm basically bailing on all the other disparities now, except for O2, Big Road, and Big Big Eye T2. Because you can see up on the Big Road too, we've got a nice um, second liner pattern going. So uh, Small Road XTB repeats starting to come alive, as well as O2 on Cockroach Road. Okay, player eight. That's a good start. Oh, <laughs> natural tie. So, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and repeat that bet. Just because, um, like I said, big eye, uh, time before last year is strong. Looks like we're the only one uh, in the shoe betting on it. We'll see if that works out or not. So. Um, we've got uh, Big Road O2 and Big Eye T2 both agreeing right now, which um, I haven't had that happen that much, so we'll see how this works out. That's not a good start. But yeah, um, when you're using the Ultima Baccarat app, oh yeah, Banker 7 to 0, so that one did not work out. But still, one OTBL event on the Big Eye Road does not mean that OTBL or, or TBL is done in this shoe. Sometimes you get to stick with it a little bit. And that's why we try to flat bet it, beat the casino, so you don't get into a big bunch of trouble when you miss. A couple of wins on V87. We'll skip that. Keep playing the uh, O2 T2 here as long as they are agreeing. So you can see right now there's a conflict. Uh, we're just going to let this ride and see what we get. But yeah, don't be afraid to uh, jump around disparities if you see one is working. But, you know, don't just jump around when the number goes the highest. Um, you know, you see a count go higher than the other ones. Evaluate it. Has it been working in the past? Have we had an event like here this is a potential um, on small road for um, O2 to take over we've had a T2 pattern but we've had a couple of we've had one O2 event and a potential O2 event coming up here so I'm not going to bet on this one I want to see if the small road I'm, I keep mispronouncing that I want to see if the big eye road here goes back to TBL So I'm waiting. So it did. Okay. So I am, since the counts are so high on O2 and T2, I'm, those are the two I'm still keeping an eye on. Even though we've had a little hiccup here, lost a couple of bets. That's what's cooking in the shoe. So it's been strong up to this point. It's starting to, the shoe is starting to waffle or change a little bit. So we've lost a couple of bets. I think I was up two and I'm back to where I started. And I will just let this bet ride here. See if our O2 T2 um, double confirmation comes back here. Okay, looks like uh, Big Road O2 and Big Eye Road XTB Repeat are kind of uh, starting to run here. So we'll, we'll, um, I've been watching Big Eye T2 and Big Road O2, but you can see Big Road O2 has uh, kind of taken over here. The counts went up uh, three more than Big Eye. And 
So we'll put a bet on that, especially with the XTB repeat. Oh, that's going to be... <laughs> that's going to be a loser. There we go. Oh, I got a tie out of it. Sweet. <laughs> Big surprise there. <laughs> nine, nine tie. Whew. So, um, so again, what I was saying here is um, we had, we've had two really good patterns. Big road... O2, big I, T2, so far in the shoe. And we're going through a little bit of a section here where that's not performing as well as it had. It's kind of staying around. But the big road O2 is taking over here. So that's what I'm placing this bet on, confirming it with that XTB repeat two. The XTB repeats are starting to work in the big I road. And what that means is, you know, we've got... Uh, Singles following singles and multiples following following multiples. All right, we got one of those back. I think I started around 73, so I'm up two units here. And uh, let's see. We look at Big Road. We've got an 029. Nine count on 02. And uh, you can see on the Big Road, second liners are doing very well. And on the Big Eye Road, our TBL, or T2, bias has kind of went away. But I've got it in the back of my mind that was so strong that the, the current XTB bias, multiple, 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 could keep running. Or, since TBL was so strong on the small road, that the shoe could come back to TBL on the small road. Okay, so right here on the, on the big eye road, you can see the T2 has got now got a blue color. So that confirms, you know, pretty much that T2 is cold. It's not working anymore. But big road O2 is working, and we've got uh, big eye, XTB repeat working. So I am going to play those two. The XTB repeat is saying, hey, yeah, those multiple events are coming after multiples and singles are coming after singles. And a lot of times when XTB gets working, you'll see it go, um, it, you'll see it flip and it'll stay flipped for a, a good few events. So what are we here? 73 have lost, uh, I was up two, lost two. Ah, uh, wait a little, little here, a little there. So this shoe has, uh, at least on the big road, has changed a little bit. Small road has changed and could be going back to TBL. Um, let's see here. So we've got, I'm making the O2 bet on the big road, just because we haven't had a long run of singles. So we'll, we'll put one down here. And that is going to be a player winner, I'm predicting. <laughs> Not a risky prediction there, right? Nine to one. So a uh, player took that shoe, and it looks like a change here. But I've still got O2. As you can see here on Big Road, O2 is a count of six, but it's gone cold. That means it's lost two of the last three. So I'm going to met, make the opposite bet. If it's if it's going cold and turning into a TBL shoe, I want to ride that down. So I'm going to bet banker instead of player. Again, that's the big road. O2 has gone cold. The recommendation is banker, but since that's gone cold, I'm going to go on the player side. Or, I'm sorry. The recommendation was player, but it went cold, and I went on the banker side. Lost. So, um, right now I'm down like two units. And since that, uh, that inverse bet, that cold bet, flipped and went back to the winning side, I'm going to take that as an indication. Yeah, I'm going to make a big road... Uh, bet here because the T2 O2 are kind of getting wishy washy here. But I'm going to take that as an indication in the back of my mind that this shoe may return to Big Road O2. 
we got a tie here. So um, a lot of times when the T202 XOXR, you know, they start losing, um, that could indicate a shoe change. And in those cases, you may want to flip sides on what the app is recommendation, but recommending because it's a running count. Um, you could have opposites, you know, go up to 10, but if you start losing two of the last three, you may want to play the other side of that. Okay, so we're taking the big road disparities here just because the O2T2s are getting a little wishy-washy here. Okay, we'll take that. And a lot of times I have found, uh, it needs more research, that when the O2... T2 and um, XTB bets are getting wishy-washy that the disparities start working. I haven't proved that out yet, but more research needs to be done. So it would be interesting to find out if, you know, the TBL, OTBL, and XTB bets, if they work, if the disparities don't, and vice versa. There's some definitely some room for some research with the Ultimate Baccarat app. So join us on the forum at beatthecasino.com. Join the conversation, help us study this thing, <laughs> and, uh, and see what we can dig out of these shoes, huh? Okay, so uh, we're in, I started out, I think, at 74 I got up to $83, now I'm down to 68 But you know what? I'm not panicking here. Um, looks like... Looks like... Yeah, we've got a... Oh, this is uh, this is the GB9 three bet. GB, you're going to kill me in this shoe because um, this is a bet one of our members, um, one of our best members at BeatTheCasino.com, GB09 has come up with. It's um, it's a bet on the threes. You'll have to join the forum to find out. But GB, you can see I have missed out on two units here. There was a player three and a banker three earlier. I could have picked those units up with your bet. So this is the only time I'll use a progression. Um, so we'll see what happens here. That's looking pretty healthy. 9 oh, oh, I should have bet a dragon on that one. But I don't play the side bets, so. Um, GB, there you go. It worked again. <laughs> and I'm kicking myself now because there's two two more threes in this shoe that worked. I could have had two more units out of that. Can't get them all. Honestly, I haven't played a lot in the past uh, few months, so my game is a little bit rusty. So we're, uh, okay. Back to uh, the Ultima Baccarat app. Uh, Big Road. O2, count of nine, and it's confirmed by Big IT2. So this is what I was saying happened. If you notice, the shoe was very strong, OTBL on the big road, and TBL on the big eye. We had a waffling section where it just kind of went back and forth, didn't really get a direction. I am going to... Make the assumption here that the shoe, having been so strong in those two, and that the two roads are confirming each other, um, mostly, <laughs> um, is going back to an O2, T2 type of pattern. Let's see here. And I went ahead with Banker here on O2 because it's, uh, you know, the count's higher. Um, if the counts were more even, like say 10-10 on both sides, I wouldn't bet it. I don't like the conflicts that much. You never know where they're going to go. Yeah, but see, Banker, yeah, Banker, and O2 on Big Road is just rolling right now. So um, that's what we're focusing on. So again, there's many, many disparities on the Ultimate Baccarat app, many statistics. My preference is to find the one that is working. Find one that's working now, bail out on all the rest. So right now, 
the O2 on Big Road, T2 on Big Eye, them working really well. Um, there's no reason to even consider anything else. And personally, and this is just the way I like to play it, I I like to see T2 O2 or T2 or I'm sorry or XTB opposite repeat um, get a count and I'll just stick with those. Uh, those counters are a little bit different. The disparities on the big road, the boxes one, two, three, four, five, six. There, they're based off of a 7D count, and we'll have to we can look at that in a different video. T202 and XTB are more of a running representation of what what the shoe's strength is. Um, the strength of the big road in this game is opposite time before last, basically twos. Twos and threes if you want to play a small progression. And it keeps rolling. On the big eye road, TBL is the strength of that shoe. And they are starting to confirm each other, which kind of reinforces that that strength is uh, systemic across, you know, multiple different roads and multiple different statistics. It's a good sign. So we'll see if we can get another player here. We're at 87. Okay, so I'm up three units here from where I started, just flat betting. Uh, I did go down two units, but didn't panic, didn't make a progression. Um, the only progression I made was a positive progression on that GB09 uh, bet. Uh, but that's part of that system, and I've got that baked into my uh, money management plan, which you should always, you know, have a plan. Um, like I went down two units, I was going to, three was going to be my stop loss, but... Uh, earlier in this shoe, but I won I won that bet and we caught a good run, so um, that uh, worked out really well. So um, I am calling this a game right here because got up four, got up two units, got down two units, got back up four units, and now I'm back to three units. And we're at hand 40 in this shoe. Um, We've had a heck of a nice run of OTBL on the big road to finish this out. There's no reason to continue. Take your three units, uh, be happy with it. Um, and you can see the Ultimate Baccarat app here. We finished up with um, a nice uh, set of anomalies. We found the O2 anomaly on big road and the TBL anomaly on big eye. Now, like I said, my game's a little rusty. I haven't played a lot in the past uh, couple of months. Um, I probably should have gotten a few more units out of this Big Road O2. You're not going to get them all. Even though you see a count of 12, you think automatically, oh man, I'm going to win 12 units. That's not really the way it works because, first of all, you need to be mindful of where the counter sets. Like O2 is 12 here. Is that leading other counters? Um... And it takes a few hands. You know, you got to get up to a count of three or four, you know, or even two, three, or four, before you can recognize that that's a good bias to start betting. So you're not always going to get, hey, O2 has uh, got a count of 12. I should have 12 units. No, there's going to be some slippage there. But what the Ultimate Baccarat app does, you know, it lives in reality. It looks for anomalies in the 50-50 system. So in this shoe... O2 occurred 12 more times than T2 on the big road. And that's what we're looking at, just to give you an advantage. So uh, give us a look, give us a join on uh, beatthecasino.com.